So hi friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. So in this video, I will provide you a complete information related to PWD student for JE examination. That is JE means and the advanced both I will include here. So this video is going to be very important for all the student of PWD category. So if you are not a PWD category and if your any friends are in PWD category, please try to share this video to those friends so that they can, can get this much needed information for them because once you know everything about PWD category, then on only you will able to get the best benefit of the PWD reservation. So it is very advisable to watch this video till the end so that you will, so that you will able to know the complete information about the PWD candidate. So if you are first to my channel, please try to subscribe. It's my humble request to all of you as I am regularly providing the information for PWD candidate through a separate video that is you can check different type of video for PWD candidate available in the playlist of PWD in the same channel. So, so please try to support me as well so that I will able to provide you all the information at the right time but to the last year so please try to subscribe and share this video to your friends so where they can also get this information so let's start this video so here in the J exam detail for pwd candidate so, so here you will know all you need to know about this J exam with respect to pwd students so uh, first of all i will provide you the detail regarding the college availability that is which type of college you will able to get if you will appear in J mains or J advanced examination and also i will talk about eligibility criteria what is the eligibility criteria to get the benefit of pwd PWD reservation and uh, I will also talk about the application fee that you need to pay for JE means and JE advance separately and I will also talk about the seat reservation that is the most important thing you should know before applying for this exam or before appearing for this examination so that you will know how much is your chance to get a good college this year in the JE examination if you are particularly from PWD category and uh, I will also talk about the cutoff for JE advance that is how much percentile you need to have at least in JE means examination to get qualified for the JE advance examination and also I will talk about the minimum marks that you need to score at least in the J advanced examination in order to be eligible to get a rank that so is all those things I will discuss here and okay. apart those things I will also talk about the document required that you need to have in order to get the admission successfully and I will also talk about the most important question of all the PWD candidate and their parent that is how will be the physical verification that is how you will be physically examined there before the admission so all those things you will get in this same video so please try to watch it up to the last so let's start with the college availability so with the with the j means and the advanced examination you will be eligible to get admission in all nit all iit triple it and gfti college and these are the college that you will get through josa counseling that is there will be a counseling named josa after the j means and the advanced examination and it held every year if you don't know i am just providing you the information so after after that also there will be so many chances of you to get the college that is not with josa but there are a few counseling where you can get the admission with your PWD reservation such as Jack Delhi, Jack Chandigarh and also you will get your PWD reservation in your home state entrance exam. Suppose if you are from uh, West Bengal then you will get the reservation in WBJ entrance exam for Maharashtra student MST CET and for all other uh, state student you will get the reservation in your home state but if you will go for other state uh, entrance exam that is a state level entrance exam you will be not considered as a PWD candidate. So this is about the quality availability so now let's talk about the reservation so it is the most powerful reservation among all, all the reservation that is available in the JE examination so PWD reservation will provide you a lots of benefit but you have to take all the steps correctly so there will be 5% horizontal reservation horizontal means 5% in each category suppose if you are from general PWD category then 5% of general seat will be reserved for the general PWD student and similarly for OBC, WSSC, ST a student because a PWD student can be general student or EWS OBC or SCST student as well. One more thing so, that you need to keep in your mind that is there will be very less seat per branch that is suppose if you are talking about a particular branch of a particular NIT then there might there will be only two to five seat including home state and other state student both. So there will be very less seat but also the student number is less. So the detail the stats related to related to PWD content you can watch my previous video there I have already provided how many numbers of a student will be there and what will, what will be the percentile versus rank so all those data are available in the same channel let's talk about the eligibility criteria now so a student should have passed class 
12th or appearing in class 12 that is similar to the other student as well and age limit there is no age limit in this examination that is in mains a student needs to have minimum 40 percent disability without 40 percent you will not be eligible for the reservation of pwd so your certificate yeah. should have mentioned that, that you are having the 40 percent or more disability that only you will be eligible for the admission and you should also have the government certificate and now let's talk about the document required so original pwd certificate will be required also also in the given format that is available in the information browser because that format they will need at the time of counseling period and uh, and the rest are same to other student that is class 12 mark sheet class 10 mark sheet admit card all those things will be required at the time of counseling so that they will verify your document and your admission will be confirmed so now let's talk about the most important question that is physical verification because this is the most important question that, are, that students are asking frequently through my comment section and those are students who are registered with my mentorship and guidance program I have discussed all the things so, so I would like to provide you the detail related to physical verification because I was there last year when it was started for the PWD content and I have guided lots of students over 500 plus students I have guided personally and those students are in some IITs and IT and triple IT college as well. So let's talk so, about the detail of physical verification. So if you will be eligible to take admission in IIT, then your verification will be done in IITs that is nearest to your home. Otherwise, your verification will be done in NIT, IIIT, or GFTA. Suppose if you will not able to uh, score uh, uh, score the minimum marks that, that needs to be a score in the J Advanced Examination in order to be eligible for the admission in IIT, then you will be considered for the NIT, IIIT, and GFTA admission. And if you will not appear in J Advanced Examination, then, uh, in that case also. So your verification will be done in an IT triple IT GFTI college because you will be eligible to get the admission in that college. So the next so, question is which document they will ask. So during the physical verification you just need to uh, carry okay. the original PWD certificate and your one identity card can be your Aadhaar card as well. That's it and, and the student should be present there. These three things is required. So now the most important question it is how will be the process. So please try to listen my word carefully because last year I have, I have seen all those things uh, for the different type of students. So, so if you will go to the IIT for the verification then it will be a little bit less strict because in IIT there is a medical board separate that is there is a hospital available in the in the campus itself. So, so there it will be less strict as I have got the information mission last year from different type of students. But, but if you will go to NIT college there will be different criteria. I have seen in some states they were very strict in some state they were uh, not so much a stick that is uh, that is just the formality they will just do the signature and that's so it before so that uh, that is one day or two day before the verification you have to select the center on the official website of JUSA and thereafter you will be asked to come on a particular date at a particular time and there they will just verify it and once it will be verified it will be reflected in your application as well so these are the process that will be done but, but in NIT college they will carry you to the nearest hospital because in NIT college there is no hospital available separately they so will take you through a vehicle to the nearest yeah. hospital and there they will check by all the machines and all those things required for your disability that is for different type of disability they will treat you differently so these are the things that to be done there but you have to be very careful during that time in order to get the verification done because once you do mistake in any process of the admission you, you will lose your reservation benefit of PWD category. So, so it is very advisable to have an experienced person who will guide you for everything and if you don't have you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number as I am guiding the student from last so many years. So I will guide you also to get the admission in best possible college that will be available at your rank and also I will be mentoring you for the preparation and which exam you should attempt other than J if you want or J will be enough for you and whether you should go for J advance or not and how you need to do the preparation. So all those things I will be guiding you as I am guiding so many students who are already registered with me. So, uh, so for that you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number but contact me only if you need because for that you need to register with me by paying a nominal fee. Thereafter I will be guiding you for everything from now up to your admission is done. But if you just want to ask a, uh, ask a particular question you can ask in the comment section in the same video. So that I will try to reply there so solve your doubt in the comment section itself but if you want the complete guidance then you have to register with me first thereafter I will continue with the mentorship and guidance program so, so if you want you can contact me anytime through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box so let's so now I would like to introduce the philo app where you can get the solution of all your question doubt or you have problem with any type of concept related to J or NEET or boards examination 
then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with these three easy steps that is first you have to download the philo app in the play store and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number and after that take the photo of your question and upload that in the app and after that within 60 seconds you will be connected to the india's best educator okay, question mein aap na, kehna chate hain ki bulb ki power kitni hai agar bulb jo hai wo 220 voltage par operate ho raha hai right is battery ka jo voltage hai wo aapko given hai 220 to ye aapko simple relation ho gaya yahan par so without wasting your time, download the Philo app. Link is available in the description box and use the code IEB001. You will get the 10% instant discount. So let's continue this video. So uh, as I told you, be careful at the time. Otherwise, you may face difficulty that is same written sidewise. So next question is how to do the preparation. So this is the most important question nowadays because PWD student are very confused how they how they should prepare because PWD student needs less marks, but that less marks also need some preparation so for everything i will be guiding you in the in the mentorship and guidance program so if you want that you can contact me anytime as i told you earlier using the instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box but one thing i would like to tell you that particularly if you are not enrolled a particular coaching and uh, even if you are enrolled in a particular coaching and you are confused how to do the preparation because coaching center mostly focus on the majority that is a general student, OBC student or EWS student, not on PWD student. So there are very less student in JE with the PWD category. So it is very advisable to have a proper mentor who will guide you for everything. So for that you can contact me. And also there is no general preparation strategy for every student because different students have different type of IQ level. I will suggest you contact an uh, experienced person who can guide you and for that I am here because one what? month is enough for PWD student to get a better NIT or IIT with best possible brand so it is very advisable to uh, to have an experienced person for your guidance so let's continue this video so here is some most important question and answer related to j examination for pwd candidate uh, so the so first question is expected cutoff for j advance so you just need to attend the j mains examination and you will be qualified for the j advance it is it's as it's simple as that that is cutoff will be around 0.1 percentile that means you will just sit in the examination and you will be qualified for the j advance examination that's it but that that will not guarantee you the college so next is what will be the cutoff marks in JE advanced to be in the rank list that is there will be two type of ranking for PWD student one one is for general courses and one is for preparatory courses so for general courses you need to have 5% per subject marks and 17.5% aggregate marks and also for preparatory course you need to score 50% of that that is 2.5% subject wise and 8.75% aggregate marks so this is about the cutoff to be in the rank list so now let's talk about the application fee so for uh, so for mains 325 rupees will be required per session and for advanced 1400 and uh, next question is i don't have category certificate what to do now because some student from pwd category are also with sc sc category st category so if you don't have the category certificate now as the j mains registration is going on you can provide the undertaking as well but in later days you have to provide the original certificate so next question is can i prepare in the last one month as i told you earlier of course you will able to prepare because pwd student needs to have very less marks but that less marks also need some preparation and if you do uh, the preparation with right strategy and right steps you will be able to get the college with better branch for sure so next is minimum marks to get an IT triple IT GFTI college so I've already uploaded so many video regarding this in the same channel on the in the playlist of PWD you will be able to check that uh, video and very soon I will try to provide the updated video also so that you will uh, you will target the examination based on that marks and next is marks versus percentile versus rank and college so this type of video also available in that playlist and also i will try to regularly update this type of video so that you will able to know the current year trend so this is all about the pwd information for je mains examination so hope you find this video very useful so please try to subscribe this channel like this video and share this video to your friends so that they can also get this information thanks again